tried drop shipping, I tried affiliate marketing, I tried SMMA, all of it. And for me, none of it worked consistently, but then I finally discovered go high level review automation or starting a reputation agency and everything clicked. You see, when I was scaling my SMMA, I hit almost $20,000 per month, but I was stressed in my mind working 14 hour days on client fulfillment. And when I focused on one client, my other clients would be frustrated because I wasn't getting them great results. My genius wife told me, she said, hey Clay, they all love the review system that you install in their business. Why don't you just do that for hundreds of businesses? And boom, everything clicked for me. I rebranded and slowly started only selling review automation services. And now I've been able to scale my business to over $26,000 a month in recurring revenue without client fulfillment because everything's automated, without weekly check-in calls, without complicated SEO, without having to do stressful sales calls, closing them on some super expensive monthly retainer. For the most part now, all of our new customers just put their card on file without a sales call at all. And I'm not here to sell you a course or a coaching program. I actually wanna give away everything I've learned in the last two years totally for free. All I ask in return is that you like the video and stay till the end where I'll show you how you can get access to my coaching calls, my templates, my scripts, and one-on-one -on -one help with me totally for free. Let me show you how it works. I'm about to show you how we get clients, sell clients, onboard clients, all that jazz. But I want to show you my favorite part about this service is that, you know, our costs are very minimal, right? It's not like we're building a custom website or doing a custom massive video that's going to require hours or doing SEO or content or all this stuff that takes so long to actually do. And you have really hard costs or labor costs associated with it, right? The great part about reviews is it's like 30 to 90 minutes to set up. Sometimes it'll be way less if it's a client that's you know tech savvy or whatever. And the cost is extremely minimal, right? You can get $300 a month for unlimited clients on the software that we use. And so the great part is, is that literally you can start offering this service to people for free and it's not going to cost you much anything. And that's going to get the word of mouth ball rolling. And eventually they'll pay you $100, $300 a month because you'll have them in the most valuable spot, the most valuable digital real estate for a local business owner, which is up here at the map pack where they get free clicks, free calls, and they don't have to go and you know pay for Google ads and stuff like that. At this point, you're probably like, oh yeah, all that sounds great, but I don't know how to code. I don't know how to build automations. I don't know how to onboard clients. I don't know how to get access to their stuff. And that's where high level comes in. So high level has already spent tens of millions of dollars on a, on a development team and hundreds of developers to build a software that just works out of the box and we can put our logo on it. And so as someone who has gone through the process of trying to hire developers, make decisions, build your own custom software and all that stuff, it is hard. You have to make thousands of decisions that are going to affect all your users. And it's just like, you don't know what the right answer is. And if you make the wrong decision, then you're going to have to go back and fix the whole entire thing. The great part about high level is that it works out the box. You don't have to make those decisions and you can just set up a client in their own little sub account and just swap the logo out. And best part is too, that if you sign up with my link down below the description, you'll get an extended 30 day trial instead of the 14 day trial. And you'll also get my template of all my workflows, all my email messages, all my text messages um, of what we do for our clients to actually get them these Google reviews. And so you can see high level starts at $97 per month for three sub accounts. Um, and then you can do $297 a month for unlimited sub accounts. And basically each one of your clients will live under a sub account. And once you get rock and roll, you'll probably be able to set your clients up in 30 to 45 minutes, depending on um, how, you know, how difficult their business is and if they had all their stuff in order. But you can see this graph is pretty popular. It just shows all the different features that they have. The key thing is we don't want to sell all these features to business owners because they're going to get overwhelmed, right? You really want to, uh, I, I just focus on reputation management. That's all I do. I just kind of dial in on reputation management. But the thing with selling all those features eventually is that if you can just get them in the door with reputation management, it's going to, lot, going to be a lot easier than upsell them into other things like websites or email marketing or website builders or you know stuff like that. So why would business owners pay a couple hundred dollars a month for us to get them reviews and automate that process? You can see Home Advisor and Thumbtack here are spending a bunch of money every single month, basically getting leads for these businesses. And then these businesses are basically paying for shared leads. Meaning if I need somebody to come wash my home, I go to Thumbtack um, and I fill out my information of what I'm interested in. Now Thumbtack's gonna go sell that lead to 10, 15 different companies. So a lot of these business owners and entrepreneurs are exhausted of chasing these leads that are sick and tired of being of being followed up with, right? You know, they basically get hit up 
you know, four or five different times from local businesses because they just went to Home Advisor or they went to Thumbtack. And so they're tired of these shared leads and they want to get their own exclusive leads. And the only way to get you know, exclusive leads is for you to generate them yourself from your Google business profile, through all your reviews, or to actually run ads on Facebook or you know, your website and stuff like that. Those are exclusive leads to them that aren't getting shared across a bunch of different business owners. And so if they get a bunch of reviews, they're gonna have a lot higher likelihood of ranking up here at the top and for most of them, one or two services a month would cover the cost of our couple hundred dollars a month where we automatically get them reviews. So how do you even use high level? How do you set up a client? You know, How hard is the process of actually getting them these reviews? So let's walk through it now. So I'm gonna go over kind of a high level, pun intended, overview of how to set clients up and kind of go over most of it. But to get really into the nitty gritty details or some things you need to do on the setup just one time, Good news, I have a nine hour video on YouTube going over every single thing you need to do to set up your account in high level to get it started. Not only to how to set up your account up, but also how to sell people. I give a bunch of onboarding call recordings, all the stuff posted on YouTube. So click on the video up above if you wanna check that out. But to actually set a client up, all you're gonna do is when you log on to high level, you're gonna be in what you call the agency view. So the agency view is basically you as the owner of the account, you're kind of overview, you're looking at all your sub accounts and stuff like that. So you can see, you can scroll through and check out all the sub accounts that I have in here. You can see just loading, it's gonna go on for days and days, we're only at C, right? So now you have a client, you're ready to onboard them. All you do is you click on create sub account. And from here, if you sign up with my link down below in the description, you'll get an extended trial, you get access to my community, my coaching calls with me, I'll, ho I'll hop on and set you up, but you'll also get the snapshot. So what this is, is you'll come through, you'll use the snapshot that I give out to my affiliates, and it's gonna come through with all the automations already pre-built, all the scripts, all that stuff. So you just have to change a couple of values to onboard a client, right? But it's gonna give you the option, high level's gonna give you the option here to look up a client. So let's say like good burgers. Find good burgers, perfect, sweet. You can find your client here, you can just use that, but if not, you can just add a client manually, but we'll use good burgers. And I'm gonna put some info in here and we're gonna create this sub account. So I've got some dummy info in here. This is not creating them as a user. This isn't gonna send them any sort of information or anything like that. Uh, this is just actually creating the sub account. You'll add them as a user later. Then you'll click on add sub account and it's gonna go through the process of creating the sub account with that snapshot all already built out. And now we can see it created the sub account. We wanna go ahead and switch to the sub account. And from here, it's gonna pull up the sub account view, right? So we're leaving agency view, now we're in sub account view, and it takes us to the first step, which is to connect their Google business profile. It's super simple, they click on connect, they'll log on with their email. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna to go to settings, you're gonna to wanna to add them as a user. So you go to my staff, you'll click on add user, and you'll add them here with their name and number and all that stuff. You can set a password for them, or you can just add them and I'll send them an email to create their own password. From there, once they logged in and you're on an onboarding call or something, you'll get them to click on connect here. It'll prompt them to log on with their Gmail account and they will connect their Google business profile. You wanna make sure you turn off call tracking. You don't want call tracking turned on because that's going to wrap their number and change it on Google. And they'll fire if we got about that, right? So after you connect to the Google business profile, if you're watching my other videos and you, once you start to get advanced, you'll be able to use GHL connector. I don't have it set up for the sub account yet, so it's gonna throw an error probably. But what you wanna use is they can connect their CRM or whatever booking system they use. That's really important, right? So basically our business relies on contacts. We need to get these contacts so we can get them reviews. What GHL Connector does is it makes it really easy to integrate their previous customers just by pasting a little API key or them logging or something to their software and pulling them all in and then also pulling in all of their new customers, right? But if you don't, you know, aren't there yet, that's all good. Don't worry about it. That's a, you know, not an expensive software you have to get by any means at the beginning. And so I think it's only like $17 a month or something. But you see, you go to contacts, you can just get them to upload a spreadsheet, right? So click on import, they can upload a spreadsheet of all their previous customers, walk through the process of uploading it and just mapping the fields. Then from there, what we wanna do is you'll want to add them to the automation. So we go to automation, we go to review workflows. You can see we're gonna add them to the review reactivation workflow. There's really nothing you need to do in here. Basically, you're gonna change some custom values to make sure everything says the right thing but that's really all it is. This is actually the text and email and stuff that's gonna go out to them to request a review. So you can see it gets a little advanced here, but I have all these sticky notes in here to make sure you kind of know what you're supposed to do. So we have like a wait step, we have like, have they already left a review or not here? We kind of have some tracking stuff, and then we send out the SMS and the email. We send out these text messages with a personalized image. What that means is that we use a photo and we put the end customer's name on it using nifty images. I got plenty of information on that across the channel. But from there, that's pretty much the review request is all you have to do there. Then if you go to reputation and you go to settings 
you can see here we can turn on AI review responses. So now you can create certain agents where you can you know, kind of adjust the tone in terms of how they respond to these reviews. But you can turn on these reviews, so now we're automatically responding for reviews, we're automatically requesting reviews. And then also we can go to the marketing place here. You want, you want them to connect their social media accounts. Once they connect their social media accounts, it's just gonna come up and say, it's just gonna come up and say, hey, post reviews. And you click on post reviews, you upload some photos, and now it's gonna automatically post all their five star reviews. And if you're like, oh, he's just skimming over this, I literally have a nine hour video that shows you everything, everything, how to get clients, how to sell clients, whatever. So feel free to check that video out. I also have very specific videos on onboarding and stuff like that if you wanna check it out on my channel. So yeah, and under the marketing and social planner, this is where you'll automate the process of reposting all those reviews for them. And we have a lot of like very nitty gritty deep automations here to make sure that clients are getting texted twice, make sure they're tracking, make sure we notify our customers. We even have a page in here where if you'd like to, you can filter reviews. So we have review faces where basically if they're not happy, they, you know, they say, how was your experience with boom? It's going to auto populate the business name in here. Green takes them to Google, red takes them to an internal page to leave internal feedback. And so really the only thing you have to do besides uploading the customer list, connecting the Google business profile, hopefully creating integration, that's really important. It's not really required, especially on the first call. The only thing besides that, you wanna make sure you go to settings and you want to go to custom values. And here's where you add all the information for a specific client. So think of this as like the brain of this sub account. We want to add the Google review link so that we make sure we're sending this Google review link to the right place, right? So that's what you want to do. You also want to add the logo link. So you want to add their logo here. You just kind of make their logo a certain size, upload it to the media storage of the sub account. And then you can just grab the link that it gives you and paste it in here. If we go back here. You can see personalized image, business owner name, business name, all that sort of stuff. How many times you want to follow up. All that is basically controlled through here. So it's really easy for you to create get new clients and onboard them and get them set up. So now what you're probably waiting for, how do you actually get customers? How do you actually get these business owners to be interested in what you're selling? And I wish I had some magic pill that I could give you for a thousand dollars in a 999 course and sell it to you, but I don't. Okay, this is actually just what I did. I'm gonna give you the information for free, give you the scripts I send out. This is legit how I did it. And so step one, what I recommend to everybody is get proof, not profit, right? Get proof that you have helped this business go from X reviews to Y reviews or helped them you know, get this amount of customers, this amount of new calls from Google before you worry about getting paid. That's That just served me really well just so I can get reps under my belt so that then I felt confident enough charging and selling selling this service to people, right? And so how I did that was friends, family, phone contacts, Instagram followers, all that sort of stuff. The message I sent out to my network to like for warm outreach or whatever was pretty simple. Hey name, launching this new business slash service to help business owners get Google reviews. This allows them to rank high on Google so more people can find them. I'm doing it for free. I just want to get some feedback. Do you know any business owners who'd be interested? Make sure you say, do you know anybody who'd be interested? Not, are you interested, right? You're not really soliciting them. It's a small tweak, but even if they own a business, you want to ask if they know anybody, right? If they want it for their own business, they'll just say, yeah, I'm interested. And if they don't, they might send somebody your way. Right after you go ahead and get some people set up just from your warm network of people already know, like, and trust you. Now we can go use that trust to go start making some money. Right. So I use my network first and then I went to my area. So I did cold outreach to my area, uh, my local area, but I was able to use being in the same local area to leverage some of that trust. So you're going to have a certain amount of trust if you can sit down with somebody face to face or if y'all go to the same church, you know the same people, or you have some mutual friends, just saying that you are from their area is gonna generate a lot of trust, okay? And so I recommend reaching out to people locally in your area. And then from there, step three was kind of turn, turn it on steroids, which was using all the proof that you've gotten from your network, from the local cold outreach, and now go ahead and do ads. So run ads to your local area. I live in a place that has like 15,000 year round residents. And I was able to go from about 30 to 60 customers just by running local ads. And I did that in about two months. And so the cold outreach script that I, you can screenshot this, the cold outreach script I used for you know, start reaching out to people cold in your area is this one right here. And then you can turn that on turbocharge by doing ads. And then the hardest transition I probably made was going from local ads to national, right? Nobody knows you, nobody trusts you, nobody likes you. People, you have worse show up rates to the calls, you have worse close rates, um, it's a harder sell because they don't know you from anybody. And so that was one of the hardest transitions I had to make. Um, so that's why I recommend starting locally. And if you live in an area that has 100,000 people, you could probably grow a 10,000, 20,000, even $30,000 per month business just staying in your local area.
And I want to let y'all know, I don't want to be like those YouTubers or other high-level affiliates out there that just tell you you can make $10,000 a month overnight. It's so easy, so amazing, great. I want to tell you all that this is hard. It's a simple business, but it's not easy, right? Just to illustrate that point, I want to show you Mutual.io. You know what Mutual.io was? It was the first version of Review Harvest. I started it like three years ago, and then I quit it for like, you know, a whole year because I didn't actually give it the time of day because it's hard, right? Like I struggled to get customers. I struggled to like, you know, get people's card on file. I struggled to set it up and actually get people reviews because I didn't know what I didn't know. Right. And, you know, I spent an ungodly amount of time on this infographic that really never did anything. I think I probably sent it to a couple people. And so just to let you know, like during this video, your emotions might be high. You're like, oh, this is so exciting. Great. And it totally is possible. And I give all the training, I give everything away possible so that you can get your own results. I mean, I already have people in the community. If we go to our wins, we have people booking meetings for clients this week alone. You know, first free trial customer, ATP approval. That's basically getting your phone numbers verified and stuff like that. Facebook ad wins, got my first client, 23 clients on board. You see people are getting results, but you can see like Connor said it best. It takes time and effort and a lot of earning. It took him seven months to get to 23 clients. But imagine you probably might've already spent four years at college getting you know just an education that when you leave you might be able to get a job paying you forty fifty thousand dollars hour fifty thousand dollars a year depending on your degree you know obviously if you have a legit degree you're good but if you really truly build this this can start to create some semi-passive income for you and it is difficult i just want to i just want to be realistic with you i just want to make sure expectations are set properly so i've packaged everything that i've learned in the last two years of building this business to over twenty five thousand dollars per month in recurring revenue into this school community. You see, it has all these bonuses here, the seven day course, four weekly coaching calls, my snapshots, my website templates, onboarding calls, sales call recordings, so you can watch and see me do the actual thing. And I wanna give this all to you for free, right? You can see it's $2.99 a month, but this is only for the people that can't just sign up my link down below in the description, right? So high level, if you just sign up my affiliate link down below in the description, you'll get an immediate invite to this community for free, right? No, no $2.99 a month. And if you're already on high level, you can just upgrade to the next level uh, with my link down below in the description and you'll also be added for free. So you never have to worry about paying for any of this information. You're able to just get set up, get rocking and rolling um, and get access to all of these 700 people helping each other out in the community. And so if you're not quite ready to take the next step, and learn from somebody that's actually done it themselves, uh, then feel free to just check out this next video. It's an eight and a half hour video, nine hour video, going over everything I've learned and I just give it away for free. Enjoy.